Minecraft Education has specialty blocks designed for educators and world creators to help preserve structures you wish to keep, prevent world visitors and students from wandering too far off, and sectioning off designated areas that you want students or individuals to build in. Now you can find these within your inventory by searching for border, allow, and deny. However, in order to place, edit, or move past a border block, you do need to enable world builder status. For students, they are typically not in world builder status. So if I were a student and I tried to break through this border block, I get this indicator that it's denied. If I tried to dig below it, I would not be able to because border blocks extend to the very bottom of the Minecraft world and you see those red particles going up, they extend to the very top of the Minecraft world. I cannot fly through it. And you'll notice that these red particles also go through the ground. So if I had a border block underneath the ground as I placed it in world builder status, those red particles are a good indicator to your students that they cannot go through that area. Now, if I wanted to enable or disable world builder status, remember that I would use the forward slash WB command to toggle world builder status. So now that I have world builder status as true, I'm able to enter and go through the border block area. I would be able to place more border blocks and I can see that those red particles extend in both up and down directions. Now I'm going to turn world builder status off again, and let's go explore our deny blocks. Now deny blocks prevent players from building above them. This is a great way to preserve structures if you put deny blocks below that, and that means that students are not able to break or place anything above that area. I could place this copper block in the Minecraft world as you would expect, but if I were to try to place it above a deny block, I'm denied. Now, if I were to go to our allow blocks, it says that I can build above them, but nowhere else in an, an immutable world. So in Minecraft, we're able to place blocks anywhere. But if I were to go to my game settings by pressing escape and then selecting settings, and in classroom, I can see that there's a toggle for immutable world. If I enable that, now I can try to place a copper block. However, I'm denied, it's blacked out. But if I were to try to place that copper block on the allow block area, now I'm able to. So with the three blocks, border, allow, and deny, you can really have some great control for the worlds that you're building in Minecraft education. There's more to learn. Check out our Minecraft Teacher Academy courses and other learning opportunities at aka.ms forward slash mcgettrained.